All right, folks, welcome to the opening day of competition at the Laws of Tram GKA Big Air Kite World Cup. After a gnarly winter hiatus with no shred showdowns, these riders have been hitting the waves hard, perfecting their moves, each with their own game plan to snag that number one spot on the podium. Let's see what different strategies these riders have adopted out on the field. So basically, after King of the Air, we had a huge break of uh, four months. New year, new start, so I went to Vietnam. The spot is not really known around the world, but the spot is really, really good because it's 40 knots every day. But in the same time, it's really gusty, so it's uh, more or less really similar to here. So it's a good training place to, to get ready for the Lord of Tram, you know. So um, this winter I stayed in Egypt, I stayed in Dahab mainly. I'm also working on the side, so I was trying to combine the two, like I work for a little environmental project. I had a strategy in training for sure. Um, like I wanted to go to Cape Town, I stayed there the whole winter because there's basically um, very tough conditions. So at first, before that I went to Brazil, get some like technical tricks in. And then I decided to go to Cape Town and if I could land it in like rougher conditions and harder conditions, then that's where you get consistencies. But enough about the winter break, let's get back to the competition. The green light was lit just 48 hours ago and riders jet set it to Bacares from all corners of the globe. In the draft scene, Pippa Van Ersel was making a comeback after an injury. Clement Hoot switched sponsors just two weeks before the event, Andrea Principe snagged the trilogy and seems unstoppable, while the Cassati brothers are bouncing back from a nightmare season. And let's not forget, Mikaeli Sol and Liam Whaley, two heavy hitters on tour, won't be making an appearance this year, leaving the title race wide open for the Lords and the Queen of the Tram. Today's been a bit of a mixed bag between the conditions, waiting on that win to pick up. Some look relaxed, but most are all business. Riders are all set, tweaking their gear to perfection, and you can feel the tension in the air, especially knowing the extreme forecast for the next day. They're mentally gearing up, visualizing their moves, because Tramontane is going to be bringing the heat for day two of action. So, stay tuned, because it's going to be a show of a lifetime. <laughs>